If you've been thinking about starting your own business but have so far been feeling overwhelmed by it all or just can't get yourself to start, this book should be your new Bible because it's gonna give you the kick in the butt that you need to get started with your own successful business without giving you the basic business blah blah that you sometimes get from these how to get rich books but instead by providing a very doable step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do to start your own business with a seven figure potential in just 48 hours and because i was very skeptical about this big promise the author Noah kagan makes but was really surprised about how fantastic his points actually are i decided to summarize the book's key takeaways for you so that you can launch your very own million dollar business this weekend. So the main idea of the book can basically be broken down into three parts. Getting started, finding an idea and validating the idea. And the first step is just getting started before actually thinking about the idea. Because even if you have the best idea in your head, most people don't even get started on the idea because they are scared. And I'm so guilty of this myself, especially in the past. I maybe started some researching and researched and researched and never actually got started because I thought I was not ready or the idea maybe not was not good enough or I just didn't know where to start. And this is, according to Noah Kagan, the biggest reason why people are not getting successful in their life because they don't even try. Either because they don't even try out one thing or they have tried out one or two or five things but they fail so they think that they're just not able to be successful so they stop trying. One of the most common things among entrepreneurs is failure and while there are these kind of entrepreneurs that launch their first business and their first business is a huge hit and they never have to work a day in their life again unless they want to, that is very rare. It's way more common to start a business and to fail with the first business and probably the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth and i know what i'm talking about but instead of being afraid of this failure it helps to change your mindset in a way to see failure or you know something not working out as an opportunity to learn from it and to make it better next time and to kind of change your mindset into a game mindset where you just throw a hundred spaghettis at the wall and see which spaghetti sticks and once you've gotten yourself over that fear of starting and got yourself into the mindset of you know trying out new things the other reason why people are not successful is that they lack a good idea but there are actually actionable steps that you can do to find an idea first and foremost your idea should solve an actual problem and not be something that you are just passionate about but nobody else actually cares about because then they won't pay you for it that's a hobby then also fine but that's not a business and that problem can also be a need for entertainment for example if you want to start a vlogging youtube channel where you don't provide any value except for entertaining that's fine because some people i mean most people want to be entertained at some point so they would invest their not money but in this case time into watching your videos because you're solving their problem of boredom for example so this aim of solving a problem should always be on the top of your head when you're looking for an idea next it helps to figure out who your ideal customer is. Just think about this morning. Was there anything where you thought, why doesn't this exist? Or I struggle with coming up with breakfast ideas. Maybe there should be an app that suggests me a breakfast idea every morning. And if you can't find an idea this way, think about customers around yourself, your friends, your family. But when choosing a customer, don't just think about any customer, at least if you wanna make a lot of money. Because for example, if that ideal customer of yours is a student or an unemployed person, they typically don't don't have that much money to spend on whatever product or service you're gonna offer. So it also helps to choose your target, your ideal target customer by their ability to actually pay you money. And who knows, maybe there are some potential customers of yours watching this video because your idea solves the problem of aspiring entrepreneurs. As an exercise, maybe leave a comment down below asking the other viewers what problems they're currently facing and maybe you'll come up with a good solution to that problem. Another way to approach the idea finding thing is to think about what's already out there, apps, products, services, whatever, and think about how you can improve that because usually nobody comes up with an idea from nothing. Most often you have something where you think, mm, I would like to be green instead of pink or have a specific function that it doesn't have yet. Whenever you're using something, a product, a service, and you feel like it's not optimal yet, write that down. Write down what aspect you could do better. And once you've found an idea, it is very, very important to not start working on the idea yet, but to instead validate the idea first. And this is so important and I did this wrong multiple times already and I'm trying to get it into my head to validate my ideas before executing them. Because if you don't validate your business idea before working on it, it is very likely that you're gonna waste a lot of time and maybe also some money. And how do you validate idea? 
not by going to your friends and telling them about your idea and having them say that's a great idea you should do it while this is very nice of them and it does help to you know talk to people and get their opinions it's not worth much if nobody's actually paying for it because if you want to start a seven figure business you want to make seven figures meaning people should be willing to actually pay for it and not just say that they might pay for it. So what Noah Kagan suggests is to, before you start working on your idea, get your first customers, paying customers. Get a customer to actually transfer money to you just for, for example, being on your waiting list or to pre-order the product that you're gonna produce. And the easiest way you can do this is to set up a landing page. You can do that for just a few bucks. I, for example, like to use card for it, not sponsored by the way. Set up the landing page, market it a little bit by talking to friends and family and friends of friends, maybe posting it on your own social media accounts if you have some following, post it on Reddit, post it wherever you want, where you can find your ideal customer and have customers pay you upfront for, for example, a 50% off the first batch. And then use that money to produce the actual thing. Whether that's an online course, an app, a chocolate, a new coffee brand, whatever that is. But once you have some money in your bank account, you know that this idea is worth pursuing. And these three steps, getting your mindset over the fear of starting, finding an idea and validating the idea can actually be done in 48 hours. It sounds maybe a bit impossible, but it's not. If you really think about it, the mindset you can switch pretty quickly by watching YouTube videos like this or reading books like these. And finding an idea can actually also be done in a couple of hours by just thinking about the problems you yourself face, your friends and family face, or people around you face that you can imagine. And then setting up the landing page takes you a couple of hours at the most. It does not have to be fancy. It just has to tell people what problem you're solving and why they should pay you for it. And then post the link to your landing page, to your WhatsApp groups, your Instagram account, word of mouth, whatever channel that you have where you can reach people and have the first three to five customers pay for it. And then you've actually already started a business because you've already received money. And I mean, obviously I'm no expert yet on business stuff, but Noah Kagan says that if you cannot find your first three paying customers within 48 hours, probably you should keep looking for another business idea. And I think this whole idea of starting a business in such a short amount of time, I know from experience that it's so easy to just get stuck in analysis paralysis and just keep on doing research or maybe working out your business plan for months without even knowing that that path you're on is worth being on. So I really recommend you to read the whole book, even though I hope my summary already provides you with a lot of value, but there's even more value in the book. And by the by, in general, if you like summaries of entrepreneurship books like these, I really recommend you to check out Short Form, which is a book guide app that not only summarizes, but also highlights the key takeaways of the most interesting nonfiction books, not only in the area of entrepreneurship, but also for example, finance, health, psychology. And whenever I hear about a new book that I might want to read, I now listen to the short form summary first before actually buying the book to see if the whole book is even worth my time and money. But not only there, also if I've already read a book, I sometimes look up the book guide on short form to actually remember what I've been reading. If you want to check out short form, make sure to click the link in my description to get a free trial and 20% of your annual subscription. And also let me know 48 hours from now in the comments how your launch went. Remember to hit like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.